So this one is about random numbers. You can get a random number by importing this thing that is called a model. Uh, Python comes with some default models like random, like sys, or like OS. There's plenty. But those models are like enhancing default behavior, the default behavior in, or, or making it better. Yeah, making better Python. Because it's like having a lot of functions available that you will have to do yourself if you don't have those models. Like, for example, generating a random number is something challenging for a, for a computer. Because random doesn't exist, you know? Random only exists in the universe. But in, in computing, it's always, there's always a reason. Like, uh, the computer will will try to combine a lot of variables so that it's really hard for a hacker to prevent, to, to, to know what the value will be in the future. And it's probably close to random because it will be really hard for the hacker to know. But if the hacker somehow knows a way of how the computer is really cal calculating the mathematical form formula to calculate that, that usually involves the current time because the current time is something that changes all the time. So if you do that, you're making your function already unique because it's never going to respond the same random number because the hours are always changing. And if you combine it with other very close to random factors, then it will be a, random, a, a number very close to random. So just to avoid that issue of thinking this thing that I'm telling you right now that is very philosophical and making a random function, it's really hard. So what you can do is just trust Python and you should trust it because a lot of people are using that function already and it works. Then you can just use it, you know? So run int is one of the possible ways you can generate a random number in Python. There are, there are several. I don't even know all of them. I know that you have random.random random that will give you a number between zero and one. You have run int that it's super cool because it will, it will allow you to you also pick from where to where, like a range of numbers. Like, I, give me a random number from 9 to 12, and it will give you always a number between 9 and 12. So that's cool. And there are others. So right now, it's we're using random number, random dot random. And it's telling you that you can use run int. So please update the function code to make it return an integer, no decimals number between 1 and 10. Okay, so if we run it right now, it's returning, you see, like, ran, random dot random will return a number between 0 and 1. So what's happening here is that print, it's calling the function get random int, and then get random int is calling random dot random, it's storing in this variable, and then it's returning this variable to whoever called call him or it. So who called it? Print. So print will grab whatever this guy returned and print it in the console, and that's how you have it. So if you run it several times, you will see that it's generating random numbers. So the function is telling us all the instructions. Now please update the function code to make it return an integer, no decimals, numbers between 0 and 1. So I could start using mathematical operations here to make this uh, comma separated, like uh, this float number or decimal number. I could make a mathematical operation like multiplying it by, let's say, because it's from 1 to 10. So I would, I would, I would, I would want to move the comma 1 to the left by multiplying it by 10. But that's really complicated and the suggestion here is pretty clear. I just have to use run int like this. If you hover on the function run int, it will give you the documentation and it tells you here return random integer in a range between a and b. And a and b it's at the at the top here. You can see it here. It's at the top. So I would put it right there. I would say from 1 to 10. And then let's test it. When you test it like this, 6, 3, Eight, so it seems to be doing it, but it, you're never sure until you press the actual test button, and there it is, amazing.